Hey folks, Ted here today with XBED and the XBED Megamat Duo. Megamat Duo, you won't find a more posh or comfortable sleeping mattress for two people. It's absolutely fantastic. But there comes a time when you have to have break camp and you have to put the mat away. And the Megamat Duo is a big mat, got a lot of foam and a lot of air in it. And sometimes it can be a little daunting looking at it, but it's actually pretty easy. And I'm going to show you how to do that so you get it done quickly and efficiently with as little sweat as possible. So first thing, obviously, two flat valves. The deflate valve, that obviously comes open. And I even open up the inflate valve and then pull the little silicon flapper back out like that just to help burp some of the air out. And then just like every X-Bed mat, the best way to roll these things up is to actually go ahead and fold them into thirds. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So I'm going to take the mat, fold it once, and fold it twice. And now I'm just going to use my body weight go ahead and drain the air, as much air as possible, out of the mat. Just want to let this ease out, take your time, relax. Let as much air as possible get squeezed out of the mat just with the body weight. Slowly descending to the earth. And then once I get to the point where I'm not really feeling much more air coming out of the flat valves, then I'll go ahead and I'll fold the mat one more time in half, just like so. And again, just sit on the mat. This beats wrestling the mat any day. And again, when I get to the point where I'm not feeling any more air coming out, where I feel like I've gotten as much air out of the mat as it's going to come out with my body weight. When I get to that point, I'm going to go ahead and close both of the flat valves, both the inflate and the deflate, just about there. And again, your patience with your body weight <laughs> will make it a lot easier later on. So I'm going to go ahead and close the two flat valves, just like so. Now I'm going to take the whole mat, and open it back up. And you can see that I've, it's quite, quite compressed. I'm going to go ahead and take the mat and fold it in half now, just like this. Again, flat valves are closed. And now I'm going to get at one end, and I'm just going to go ahead and start rolling. I'm going to roll in, and I'm going to use my knee and my body weight keep pushing the air to that end of the mat. And while I'm doing it, I'm just going to go ahead and neaten it up, just keep it nice and clean. That way it'll stuff in the stuff sack easier. And once I get it full of air at this particular end, I'll go ahead and open up the flat valves yet again. And then just body weight. Squeeze as much air out as possible. just a matter of having the patience to squeeze the air out so you don't have to work too hard later on. And one last time to close the flat valves. Another roll or two. Open up the flat valves again. And then just ease the air out of the mats. Close the flat valves again. Got a nice compact roll. Let's take the stuff sack. Make sure you grab the mini pump. Slide the whole setup in. Ready to hit the trail.